Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. In today's video, we will be reviewing the September issue of Vogue. And yes, this is the classic Vogue with all of the original supermodels on the cover of it. I am so excited to review this one, and this is the thickest one we've had this year. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and review this month's issue of Vogue. Today we are going over the September issue of Vogue, and we do have all of the classic supermodels on the cover of it. It's going to be such an exciting magazine. When you open the magazine, you will have a page where all of the models did actually sign a page of it, so that's really, really cool. And we actually have a three-page Lancome ad, which is pretty surprising because for the advertisement for like a first-page ad, would be definitely very expensive. On the next page, we still have Lancome, but I will say that I do love their foundation. It is one of my favorites. For Prada, we have this really, really cute photo, and I actually really love it because the cute little rose and then her cute little jacket, it's just so cute. More for Prada, and I actually know her from the show Black Mirror, and I actually love that episode. I will have the episode linked right above. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It is so good. For Dior, I am loving Dior because for one, the colors of it is just so cute. I definitely love like the dark blue and then the pink and then the green. And then the outfits alone are always so good. They have the classic Dior silhouette and absolutely approve. We even have a photo of the book tote and definitely comment down below if you're a fan of the book tote or not. I would definitely like a tote, but I think I would like a Prada or a Versace one. Louis Vuitton, they have so many cute bags lately and I am honestly loving them. This is one of their new ones and I will have it up on screen. My friend Devin is going like crazy for this one. He absolutely loves it. And it's very, very like Chanel 19 vibes, but a Louis Vuitton twist. For Chanel, I absolutely love this because for one, I love, love, love ostrich feathers, but this is totally giving me like the nanny and I love, love, love the show The Nanny. It's just so chic and so cool and so Chanel. Now we have a color version and I will say that they do have a bag with the flower as like the opener and I am dying for this bag. I do plan on going to Chanel and making another vlog and definitely checking this one out. So stay tuned for that. Gucci, I will be honest and say that I do want a lot of pieces from Gucci lately. Definitely a lot from the men's clothing. Once again, I do plan on making a vlog of Gucci as well. So I'm very excited for that. Something that I do love though is this Gucci bag. This is very, very like the Versace Greca top handle bag, but like the Gucci version. And I do love the fact that it does have a bamboo handle on it because the quality is impeccable. Hermes, I have to say that I really, really do love their ads because for some reason, I just think they're so fun. There's always a horse in it and like a long shawl or a scarf. And I love their shawls and scarves. They're just so silky and so great. 100% approved. Same with these boots. I honestly have to say that I do plan on going to Hermes and checking out these boots because the way that the heel is shaped on it, I am such a fan of it. And for some reason, I really, really want these. So hopefully they make like a black version or like an ankle boot version because I would totally be interested. For Fendi, I believe we actually seen the same photo in my last edition of Vogue. Again, my playlist of all my Vogue reviews will be linked right above and in the description below. For this Fendi Peekaboo Crocodile, it is so perfect. I would 100% get this one day. We do have more Fendi as well and I do love the dress on the left. It's actually so cute. I love how it's paired with like a shirt underneath and it's just so cool. Estee Lauder, now you know that I love Estee Lauder. Lauder. It is my favorite foundation. I actually mix it with the Lancome one and it is so perfect. I do have a couple of makeup vlogs from when I very, very first started my channel years ago. However, I do plan on doing some more makeup videos just because I think it's kind of fun and I would really like to do it. But definitely check out my makeup playlist if you haven't already. This photo right here is 100% sexy because she is so gorgeous. Just look at the way that the outfit is fitting her. It is just 100% perfect. That blood red color, it is so cool. And then even the handbag, look how it has a D and G for Dolce & Gabbana. It is just such a cute bag and I love the fact that they use the logo as a handbag. More for Dolce and I have to say that they really do have some of the sexiest clothing. Their lace is honestly Honestly, amazing every single time and they are very very controversial but the quality of the clothing you, you really cannot deny the quality Valentino Valentino is really really cute personally I am loving the fact that they do have a black and white ad because usually they have such like really bright and abstract ads that this is a really nice change for them Ferragamo I have to say that the bag on the right I honestly really like it now, I've always wanted to go into Ferragamo, but I just never really put the time into it. But I have 100% no doubt with the bags and the quality, they are good quality, but it's just not necessarily me per se. 
So I'm not sure. Would you guys like to see a Ferragamo vlog? Definitely comment it down below if you would. Mew 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 is really, really cute. I did once see a cute little pink handbag, and I do want that pink handbag. It was made out of shearling, and it was maybe back in like 2014. One day, maybe I will track that down. Figari is so cute, especially with Anne Hathaway. I really, really do love Anne Hathaway. She is just such Princess Diaries forever. Burberry, I have to say that Burberry is getting more interesting. The new creative director is really, really doing a great job. I'm loving the purple sweater, and they even do have some shearling high heels, which I am interested in. I will have it linked right above, but how cute are those? For Bortega, I have to say that the style of the trench coat and then the pointy boots at the bottom, absolutely love it. This is such a good outfit, and she looks stunning in it. Marc Jacobs, 100%, I know this, the high heels. Look how long those heels are. That is like platform gold. And 100%, I've got to try those on and try them because I am addicted to heels now, as you may know. Ever since I got my Versace pair, I am just absolutely living for like the height difference. I do have an ad for a fragrance. However, this one I've never specifically tried, but it does seem based on the ad that it would be really good. I really like the whole like flower and rose vibe. It's really cute. For Chanel, we do have some high-end jewelry and this is actually watches and the watches are really, really cool. There was once a Chanel watch that I really, really wanted. I'm not sure if I have the picture saved. It's from so long ago. It might be buried in my like saved files on my computer of all of the fashion stuff that I've ever wanted. But if I can't find it, I will have it linked above. Van Cleef, I have to say that these are some of my favorite necklaces from them because this is all about your horoscope. So for me, I am a Scorpio and I absolutely love that. It is becoming Scorpio season very, very quickly and very soon. So I absolutely love these. For their Armani makeup, I have to say that I do love the Armani powder. I've been using the bronze for like five years now and the bronzer I use is actually discontinued sadly but the luminous silk foundation it does look like skin when you put it on it looks very very cute and glowy but it's personally not like great for oily skin you will sweat that off and it will break away within like an hour so I wouldn't really recommend it but if you're just doing like a photo shoot or something then, you know, I had to prove it for that. Victoria's Secret, we do have Naomi and actually a beautiful spread as well. We even have Dojo Cat and it is just so cool. Such a glorious spread. And then it even comes out even more, which is crazy. So if you are like a Victoria's Secret diehard fan, this magazine would be so good to cut out. For this month's issue, we do have the index and we can see Kylie Minogue and then Hailey Bieber as well. And we can see all of the stuff this magazine will have to offer. Maximara is really, really cute, especially for their teddy coats, which is the giant big furry coat that you do see. Very, very great for winter. I actually do love the dress with the waist cinched in with the leather material. More for Maximara, and obviously the silhouettes of these outfits are so good. 100% props for Maximara. Chiffonchi, these boots are really, really cool. I love how like edgy it looks and even the handbag. This handbag might actually be selling really, really good for them, I predict. I think it's really, really cool for them. Alexander McQueen, I absolutely love it. And I also love how Cara Delphine is posing for it. Kara is in the new season of American Horror Story, which I am loving. I do have an entire American Horror Story vlog where I visit nearly every set of the show, and it is so cool, so definitely check that out. But again, I do love Alexander McQueen, and then the fact that there's a rose, absolutely love roses. Ella McCarthy is the beautiful dress that does have Nordstrom right above it, and you can even see that there is like, I think it's a horse that's like printed into the dress on the orange part. This is such a beautiful dress and I absolutely love it. For Swarovski, we actually have a pineapple this time, which is different. Or for the Folk Index of what is offered in this month's magazine. Then we even have Austin with a YSL cologne ad. Now, YSL cologne, I have to say, it does smell good. I'm personally a Chanel and Versace guy when it comes to my colognes and my perfumes, but YSL, this actually does smell really good. I would totally get it to add to my collection, and you know, it's something that I would approve. Here we have the leather from the editor, and we can see the start of an article that will be featuring Naomi, Cindy, Christy, and Linda Fangelista, and this is so cool. This would be about Anna Winter talking about them. And then we will also have an article of all the supermodels telling their stories as well. And it's going to be really fun and exciting. Michael Kors, I have to say that I'm not a really big fan of Michael Kors. He's just very, like contemporary to me. However, I will say that this outfit is really cute. So I will always give props where props is due and this outfit I do approve. Especially this one right here. Now this coat, I actually really really do want this coat. It is so 
fun. And honestly, the back does match it really, really great. So I really do like it. Something that did make me happy with this magazine is they actually did have Chanel makeup inside. So I was actually really happy that I did get a sample of the Chanel makeup. Now, I actually really do like Chanel makeup. It's just like the Armani one. However, if I would have to choose one, I think I would have to choose Chanel just because there's a lot of skincare in it. So Chanel products, it really does help your skin. And when you take your makeup off, your skin will be 100 times brighter and healthier and just so soft. So there's just something about it that makes it a little bit more worth it. But for coverage wise and stuff, it still doesn't last that long. So either way, if you have really oily skin and you like high and medium coverage, it won't really be for you because they're both very light. This right here, 100% approved. I actually have a red button up that matches this red velvet dress. So I 100% love that. Oh mom, I am really happy that they are showing really like couture pieces in this magazine. Now you may know that they were recently robbed and their car was hijacked. I do have an entire video about it. Now 50 pieces from their fall and winter 2023 collection have been stolen. So definitely check that video out if you would like. Break from fashion and a little bit more into art. Here's a page for all of my art lovers. Personally, I am dying to go to a museum and I would actually like to make a vlog about it. Now here we have an article about the micro bang. And I have to say that this is a 100% no. In fact, when I was maybe like 15 or 16 years old, my best friend at the time was always cutting my hair. She was the only person I trusted with my hair, but she purposely gave her boyfriend a bad haircut and gave him micro bangs when he had like a scene boy and edgy haircut. And she was constantly laughing about it, but I was like, oh, it actually kind of looks good. Like he can kind of pull it off because there was like a fashion aspect to it. But then when she gave me my haircut, she 100% gave me the same thing. And she felt so bad because I was so mad. She actually almost started crying because she genuinely thought that like I liked it to where it would look good on me. And I was like, 100% no, I liked it on him, but I didn't want it. So then the next day she came over with hair extensions and we actually gave myself hair extensions for my bangs. So maybe for like five months when I was 16, I had fake bangs the entire time because they were cut way too short. And after that, she never cut my hair again. Now we will be entering Vogue World, which was a huge fashion event that did already take place. I'm currently in a moving process. So the amount of videos I could get out, I really had to kind of prioritize. But I will have the link to the Vogue show in the description below. So definitely check it out because it was definitely really good. For September, Vogue is recommending these products right here. Personally, once again, these are still products that I have not tried. Usually I haven't really even heard of these products. So to really recommend them, even I question, do these really work? For my book lovers, you have all of the books that are recommended for this month. So definitely go ahead and give this a read if you would like. And definitely comment down below if you've ever read some of these. For Balenciaga, I actually really, really do love Balenciaga. I will always be a fan of them. And even this giant hourglass bag, so cool. This is so perfect, especially for the winter. I could totally see this like carrying it in the snow, giant snowstorm going in the car, just throwing it in the car. This would be so perfect. And I am interested in this bag. So the moment we've all been waiting for, we are finally at the iconic scene with all of the original supermodels, Christy, Cindy, Naomi, and Linda Fangelista. So now let's get into the article. On the next page, we can see the glorious outfits and the pink is so cute. I am 100% loving it. And then the contrast of the pink and red, so cute. Once again, more of the article. Again, I will have a pause on the screen just so you can go ahead and give it a read. Next page, I absolutely love it as well. I love the contrast of the blue and the black. And it is so cute, especially Naomi. Look at her hair flowing in the wind. It is literally everything. This page, I feel like it is just so wholesome. And the all white outfit is so chic. 100% loving the all white outfit. Now getting into the article and I will have a pause on screen so you can go ahead and give it a read. However, I will say that the way that Naomi is posing is 100% giving me Kim Kardashian popping the champagne bottle. And it's just kind of a funny pose. Now, if you notice on this page, you can see one of my favorite handbags that I would love to have in my collection. And that is the Louis Vuitton house one. So this is a really rare bag that Louis Vuitton makes. And this is of their fashion house. And it is so cute and such a collector's piece. I also will say that I actually love dresses with button ups underneath it because I think it's so chic and so cool. Like this one right here, I think it's just so perfect. And the way she's wearing it, it's just so chic and pulls it off so well. More recommendations from this month's Vogue. And it is becoming fall season. So get out those cozy sweaters. So once we get to the back of the magazine, it does refill more of the classic supermodels article 
And you can actually begin to see that they even talk about a series that is coming up where they kind of expose like the modeling world and some pros and cons to it. I will have it mentioned in the description below. And I did forget which one, but it could have been Cindy or Christy who was speaking and talking about like how they were passing out on the set because they weren't allowed to like move from an uncomfortable position and how they were somewhat mistreated. It was definitely a really, really good show, so definitely check that out if you would like. So for last look, they always show some very rare and vintage pieces. This bag right here is from Shifan Shi, and this is made out of entirely pearls, and this is so cool and what like a rare bag. Comment down below if you've ever seen it. We also have a vintage pair of Chanel boots, and these are actually so cute. You really can't go wrong with the classic white and the black and then the lovely pearls. It's so cute. On the back of the magazine, we will be ending with another Louis Vuitton bag, and her dress is so cool. I love the way that it's cut and the silhouette at the top of it is 100% perfect. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me what you thought of this magazine and have a great day. Au revoir.